At the moment, I guess the Belgian trip is in jeopardy because if he's if he's ill, we obviously can't go. folks and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is what's known in the trade as a busy vlog. We leave for Belgium tomorrow morning but before we leave for Belgium I need to finish off my work for the week. Anna needs to go and do a seven hour shift at the co-op. Amy returns from holiday with her granddad to come and see us for the day before then going back to her mum's house again because she's not coming with us to Belgium and before any of that need to take Dave to the kennels because if I don't do that early in the day then it's going to clash with all of that stuff later on. So Dave is on his way to the kennels now. I don't know if you can see him in the back. I think he's just looking out the back window. On the way home from this I need to go and stock up on English food for Andy for the next three days while we're in Belgium. If you remember when we went to Disney we took a whole load of crisps and pop with us. We're going to be doing the same thing again. He doesn't actually eat a huge amount of crisps or drink a huge amount of pop now compared to when we went to Disney but we can't really take fish fingers and waffles because they're both frozen foods we're not taking a freezer with us and we'll have no way to cook them when we get there we are going to Belgium the home of waffles but I suspect they're going to be very different kinds of waffles to the bird's eye potato waffles that he's used to so I hope the next three days of being back primarily on a diet of crisps and toast doesn't set him back after he's had probably nearly a month now of waffles and fish fingers and a lot more variety in his diet obviously we will try and get that kind of stuff as and when we can McDonald's is usually a good bet for fish fingers waffles might be a little bit harder to come by but we'll see what we can do try and keep them as varied as possible but as a safety net we need to go and buy enough crisps to last us like a week and a half at home now but with the volume of food that he's eating I think we probably need four six packs a day for the three days that we're gone um, so what's that 12 bags of salt and vinegar walkers crisps so I'm going to go and fill up the uh, my pokeball plus is making noises because I'm not playing pokemon that he knows I'm moving um, I'm playing pokemon on the way home right um, but yeah I'm going to head to the shop buy loads of crisps buy loads of pop but first we're nearly at Dave's kennels so need to get him dropped in there and I need to stop talking to you because I can put the air conditioning back on it's 31 degrees in this car and I am melting right that's Dave dropped off next job all of the crisps in Tesco last until Friday. First batch of jobs complete, Chris purchased, Anna at work, Amy not at work. Amy's here look, you've been away for days with Grandad in a tent. Did yeah. you have a marvellous time? Yes, it was good. Did you see a giraffe? Yes. Did you touch the giraffe's tongue? No. Did you touch any animal's tongues? Uh, a goat you licked my hand. You touched a goat's tongue? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we'll put the TV on in a minute. We're just asking Amy what she got up to camping. When you um, go. Yes. Grey's Anatomy. I don't suppose you've watched what the video from a couple Natalie? of days ago. He Grey's has Natalie. been asking for you constantly. Grey's By Grey's talking Natalie. about TV Grey's shows. Anatomy. Anatomy. Yeah. We yeah. did a live stream that ended up getting cut short. And um, he just spent the whole live stream asking for Amy and telling us about New Girl and Grey's Anatomy. So, he... Uh, <laughs> Grey's Anatomy so much. Yeah, and I imagine he'll now put New Girl on his laptop because that's what he was doing during the stream. <laughs> I see you still have your Instagram bag as well. Yeah, I took it camping with me. Excellent. Splendid. Right, next batch of jobs then. I have a whole load of videos that I need to schedule. Um, we need to eat dinner at some point and then I need to start packing. Anna's not going to be home until 10, at which point obviously we have to watch Bake Off because Bake Off is back this week. And then we're leaving super early in the morning, so we're not really going to have time to do much in the way of packing. So, plus obviously we've got bits of Minecraft in there as well. So, um, Amy's watching. I better Amy. get on. Well, that was a lot of admin. It is. It is. What is it? It's nearly six o'clock. I've spent like two and a half hours scheduling videos for the next week. There's like three flies in the room as well. It's so hot. My brain's fra my brain is just frazzled. <laughs> my brain is frazzled. 
after scheduling videos for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday but they are now done and now we probably need to cook some dinner and I haven't even thought about starting to pack yet hope my clothes are clean and my batteries are charged or I'm gonna be up all night well it's been roasting hot all day and we're finally getting what we've needed for about three days there is a thunderstorm happening. I've heard multiple claps of thunder. I don't actually think it's raining yet. There is a tiny bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of rain, but the, the air pressure has just changed massively. The temperature's dropped like five degrees at least. And uh, it doesn't feel humid for the first time since last week sometime. I mean, it still feels a bit sticky. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the camera rolling until we get a clap of thunder. I haven't seen any lightning. But, oh, God, I oh my clothes are outside oh! I got them in to be honest they're not actually that wet this is most they're of the stuff this now. is the stuff I've washed today specifically because I want to take it to Belgium so I they're... think there's a thunderstorm with, with thunder and lightning and I've stood outside yeah, they're a little bit damp but I think we'll be okay oh my god did you see that it is starting to come down pretty you heavy did, now. Did you see that lightning? No, just, I didn't see lightning. I can hear. There. It was a flashing. You can hear just a low rumbling thunder. How it's not like claps of thunder. While I was sat downstairs, like, yeah. is going to be a thunderstorm? Yeah, it's just constant low. Where are you? Constant yeah. low rumbling thunder. But I want to try and get some lightning on camera. Yeah, there was just one at the Oh, oh there oh, comes oh, the rain! Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh, that. <laughs> That just came down so <laughs> fast all of a sudden. My back is drenched through. Oh my god. I'm gonna this is like a tropical storm. storm. This is mad. Are you right, Andy? I can go back to bed. Yeah, you're not a big fan of thunderstorms, are you? Oh my god, there's another lightning cast. Yeah, let's try and keep it low key because somebody's suffering a little bit. He doesn't really like it. Right, Rupert. Yeah, it's bedtime now. Do you want to go to bed? We go home now. We can take you to bed if you want. I'm going home now. Okay. He is not a fan of this at all. I think it's mainly because he associates it with power cuts and he hates power cuts more than just about anything but the rain is absolutely throwing down oh, now this is mad and um, so Andy's just thrown up like three times I think it's migraine stress anxiety stuff all linked together because of this I am going to cut the vlog short here though at the moment I guess the Belgian trip is in jeopardy because if he's if he's ill we obviously can't go but um, just keep an eye on our social media, keep an eye out for tomorrow's vlog, but I need to go and be with him. So. Well, just a little bit more information after the very abrupt end before. Um, he's asleep now. I think it's all been brought on by the changes in air pressure. I, you could feel the air pressure change. You could feel that there was a storm coming before the storm came. As Amy was saying, she could like feel the rumbling and stuff. And I think it's just given him a migraine and migraines make him sick. He was white as a sheet. Even when I was filming him just briefly down there, you could tell he wasn't right. And um, hopefully it's just a case of quick bit of vomit and then to sleep and he'll be fine in the morning. So it was just a migraine. Obviously, if it's something more serious than that, if he's actually ill, then I guess we're not going to Belgium. We can't put him through that while he's poorly. So we'll just... Uh, let you know I guess what's happening for the rest of the week but I am going to end the vlog there because I do need to get it all edited together now I'm still working on the assumption we are going so I still haven't packed my bags my clothes are now wet again after leaving them out in the rain and I've still got to edit you plus I have promised Amy some Minecraft time and I'm not going to see her for the rest of the week now having not seen her for the last week so we need to fit in some Minecraft time too so if you have enjoyed today's vlog please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for watching.